Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're back with more Total Tank Simulator. These gentlemen have decreed that the world has experienced far too much peace, which means it's time to blow a bunch of crap up. You guys had a couple suggestions. One of them was to have one of each unit on each side and see who wins in the end. We can definitely do that. I'm very curious about that. I would also like to take a look at a few of the OP units on either side and see how they do against one another. So... Some folks were talking about, let me grab it over here, the the bell, I guess it's called. Uh, yes, I've read about this a little bit. I No, I had never heard of this before. I don't play Call of Duty or read anything regarding the bell. But I did read, <laughs> I did read about it now. So video games for learning things. How do you like that? Every once in a while it does happen. It was saying that uh, it would extend like a 200 meter radius blast and it would turn like blood to gel and separate it and then turn plants to grease? I don't even know, man. That's incredible. Uh, I don't know exactly how you beat that, but I guess we're gonna try and do it. No, no real rhyme or reason to this here. We're just kind of putting everything down as we see fit. Got some tank destroyers and some tank cannons and some more tank destroyers, a little bit. Got a lot of support, actually. I'm gonna put the support up front. So that maybe it can do some stuff. Although, see now the landmines, the only thing about landmines is from what I found, like when you put them down, your own guys run over them a lot. So I think I'm going to stay away from landmines right now. We're just not going to use them. The tank bunkers are also very strange. Uh, I still haven't, let's take a look at this real quick. So, okay, so the armor is insane. 500 hit points. <laughs> the armor class is heavy wall. Okay, very good. It does have fire damage. Bunker machine gun. Okay, uh, damage class bunker flamethrower. Sure. All right, very good. Well, we'll put one of those down over here by the rockets. This old girl, I'm going to put you kind of right here, I think, should be pretty good. Germans are going to get the exact same treatment here. Let's go ahead and put down their beautiful blue beasts, the various tigers, panzers, and yes, the ultra heavy as well. Look at the size of the icon for this thing. This thing is totally insane. Over here, we have a tank cannon and a tank destroyer. Let's go ahead and put that up in the front here so that it does some good. And for support, a lot of support here as well. I do like the officer's car too. Let's see exactly what it does. Just says boost stats for units. I don't know how much it boosts it for. I guess we'll find out eventually. And of course, our aircrafts as well. We've got the BF-109 and the JU-87 and then our two machine guns. Let's put this, or our one machine gun, I should say, and the other truck. Uh, machine gun, you can go kind of right here. And then truck, you can go over here. And then, yes, the bell. I put, I put everything down, right? Yes, I did. And then, yes, the bell. The bell will lead the charge. Just like the uh, just like the giant, uh, what is this, the 42, I think it was over here? For the secret project? Yes, the T-42 will be leading the charge on this side. All right, so our map. Let's go ahead and go over to mining settlement. Sounds interesting. Let's freaking do this, boys. And the fight is on. Here we go, boys. Who will win when everything is kind of equal there was more money spent on the german side but everyone got one of each unit so we'll see what happens here you can see in the mining settlement all these miners are already very very sad about their choices in life buildings are just getting demolished mowed over and set on fire the bell slowly moving up oh but what's this the rocket launcher is just pouring down the pain look at the different rockets i gotta tell you this is probably one of my favorite units on the soviet side over here though the german tanks are nothing to be sneezed at. They are coming up here right into the face and they begin to fire. Let's go ahead over here to some of the plane battles though. I do love the plane battles. I know several of you guys do as well. Whoa! What in the world just happened out there? I think the bell just went down. I'm not sure what it was, but something ended up taking down the bell. All these planes over here are just kind of refueling and such. Let's see what's going down here. This is that, uh, this is that super heavy tank on the Soviet side. Oh, a shot coming right down the, what was that? A piece of shrapnel got in the way. <laughs> That's awesome. A piece of debris completely clutched out the save there. Here, look at that, look at this. These shots pouring down right here. I think that that debris is gonna save it again. What a fantastic place. Oh, look at this from the side. This little tank over here is coming down from the side. Please pardon my lack of knowledge of everything historical. I just like playing this game and having a fantastic time. There is explosions and gunfire all over the place. These two, these two brother tanks over here, they are having a great time working together, shooting shots down range. Look at them just in, in unison, 
blasting apart different units. Over here we have that artillery just kind of hanging back right now. I don't think anything managed to push up. Over here, not seeing too much happening right now. We've got everyone kind of just moving along. Let's take a look to see if we can get... Oh, look at this. Oh, I think that was the first time I've seen... Oh, wow. I was going to say that was the first time I've seen the bunker do something, but it's also possible that someone was shooting at it. Where is this tank going? This tank hopes that you purchased your freaking homeowner's insurance. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. It's like it wasn't even aiming at someone. He was just like, screw your houses, miners. I don't have time for your crap. Two houses in one shot. The Germans over here taking some fantastic shots from the side. I don't even know where those shots are coming from. They're coming from somewhere. I'm not sure. Here's the rocket launcher smoking heavily. I don't even know if it's able to be utilized right now. It doesn't seem to be moving. Now, remember, they can be... Oh, wow. It's a Soviet victory. It's a Soviet victory. I don't know how that happened, but the Soviets managed to pull that game out there. Now, what happens if... it Would it, would it be two out of three? Like, if the exact same thing would happen? I don't know, guys. Feel free to let me know in the comment section if you, if you think that you want to see that type of thing again, where it's, like, equal and equal on both sides with the exact same units. I have a feeling that obviously there's some level of randomization to all of the stats. So, you know, everything kind of moves its own way every time. That's kind of why I like this game. There's so much different crap that can happen. Everything just explodes. It's so glorious. Let's not, let's try a couple different things, though. How strong are the Katusha rockets? We're here up against the equal around amount of money spent Panzer threes. I'm very curious about this to see if they can wipe these guys out before they pile on in and mow these things over. I looked up the pronunciation. Of course, you guys gave me a lot of feedback. You were all saying Katusha. So that's how I'm going to try and do it. I don't have the appropriate accent, so just give it to me. It's as best as a guy from Jersey could do it. Let's freaking fight this out on... Where should we go? Not the Volcano Village. That thing in the middle is too damn crazy. Let's go over to the Autumn Leaves. Have we already done that? Let's do the Great Desert. I'm really curious what the Great Desert looks like. I imagine it's pretty sandy, but I'm sure it'll do fantastic for blowing crap up. Here we go. The Katusha rockets slowly pulling away from their various, I don't know, reloading stations. Did I already hear something firing off? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, wow. They are, like, skidding all over the place. They do not like going... <laughs> they... Oh, wow. They do not like the, uh, the cacti over here. They are just beating the living hell out of these things. In the distance, you can see the blue pain, the blue sheet of pain, and there it is, the rain of punishment. Hold on, let us get a fantastic shot of this right here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How about the look from the side of the German tanks as all of those rockets pour down, and there they come, flattening the ground right over here. Can they withstand the barrage? If they can withstand the barrage, I think that they're going to easily be able to take this. Oh, wow. Okay, I totally underestimated how many rockets there would be. Oh, my God. Oh, it's just like, look at this. It's like something out of a freaking video game. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, but I mean, this is ridiculous. Look at the amount of rockets coming down. There's some repairs going on. Yes, a lot of the tanks are still alive, and they are starting to chase these things down. They're going to have no chance once those tanks start coming in here, let's go take a look. They're running for their lives. The tanks are trying to get some beads on the on the Katusha rockets. The Katusha rockets. This one just ran right into it. It doesn't even need a fire. It was like, screw you, buddy. I'm made out of tank armor. What are you going to do? Head-on collisions? Going to win that all day. Panzers are moving right along here. Running over what's left of the desert. <laughs> the desert uh, plant life. There's not very much left. More rockets starting to pour down over here. Whoa! That was a direct hit. Let's see if we can get right over here. Is this guy going to fire? Look at this insanity. They are just... It's like friggin' a hail of mosquitoes or something coming down. Let's go ahead and pull back up here. A little bit of a bird's eye view to watch these rockets. Now, this is a good place to be. Right over here on this berm. Because I think a lot of those rockets are going to get caught on the terrain yeah right there now once they can pull up here if they can pull up here from all these rockets i think they're going to be in a fantastic position to maybe lay down some firepower few of the tanks have made it here they are now at this range this is right where they're going to want to be come on fire 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 get them 
There we go. That was a good shot. Another rocket launcher down. This one's going to be at point blank range. Wow, those rockets are still flying, even at this range. You can see, though, it is pretty much one shot, one kill for these tanks. If they get you in, your, in their sights, you are completely out of luck. This one over here trying to use the... Oh, wow. Oh, he just got leveled. Are there any left? There are. There's a few left way back here. What is going on way back here? What are they doing just sitting here? This is very odd. They're just kind of... Uh, they're just kind of looming. Not really doing anything. Are they... Are they injured? They're a little bit injured. But they don't seem to be attacking. This is terrible. Come on, guys. Get in there. Get in there and show them what you're made of. <laughs> After his friends died. Look at this. This one tank finally decided to start pushing up. I think it's too little too late because look at this. No matter how bad the aim is, throw enough rockets at the problem and you're bound to solve it. There's one tank left. Never mind. There's no tanks left. And it's a Soviet victory for the rocket launchers. Man, that's insane. Let's go test the German rockets, though. All right, we've got about $15,000 spent on both sides. Give me the Sturm Tigers against, someone said, more T-34s. You got it, buddy. There's all your T-34s. They're all over the place. We just did it on the desert. Now, I know for a proper test, you should really stick with the same map, but there's so many maps here. I really want to try them all. So let's do the icy desert this time. This is a different desert. We were on the regular desert. Now we're in Antarctica? I don't know. It is icy though. Look at this over here. Those T-34s looking prim and proper. But over here, the Storm Tigers will be laying down the law in just a moment. Look at them roll on in. Roll out, boys. Ain't got no time for your evergreen trees. Get the hell out of the way, boys. The Sturm Tigers are coming to town, and they are. These things have some great speed to them in this game. Now, a lot of times I'll mention, like, one tank being stronger than the other or one item being stronger than the other. I'm not trying to be historically accurate. I'm just going by the stats inside of the game. So, it is a game. And in any game, there are always villages which must be completely obliterated. Now, this is considered rocket-type uh, vehicles here. So, here we go. There goes those rockets. That's what I wanted to see. What kind of accuracy do these things have? Oh, wow. Look at that. Hold on. Let's get this from the perspective of the Soviet side. We're going to watch them get absolutely leveled. There's a lot of friendly fire going on here. But man, when those rockets from this range lay down the law, look at that. Taking out four, five, six tanks at a time. Oh, the Sturm Tigers are just absolute monsters on the battlefield. Look at that right there. That was four tanks or five tanks gone in a single blow. Now, several of these guys have a little bit of damage done to them, but they're getting healed very quickly. And you can see they have a lot more armor than the Katusha rocket launchers. Over here, more of those, more of those missile batteries just coming down right here. This, look, let's take a look at this. Everything here is going to get wiped out, guys. You got, you know it as well as I do. Right there, both of those tanks getting whipped up on. And this tank here, he's going to wish that he stayed home. Bam! Look at the turret go flying. This house, there was still a part of it left. This guy over here was like, not on my watch. Oh, wow. Oh, it's just, it's just total annihilation. I don't think anything is going to be left. I don't think anything is going to be left. I don't think anything is left on the Soviet side. Did they, did they destroy everything? Oh, there's one left. This poor guy, look at him. He is just a pincushion for rocket launchers. So the rocket launchers on both sides, just super powerful. So I guess the question is, yes, what would happen if you put the Soviet rocket launchers up against the German rocket launchers? So let's go give that a shot. Now, this is going to be the, 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 just the ultimate reign of death here. I'm going to put... I'm going to try and put around 50 units on both sides. All right, so right up here, same amount, roughly spent. 56 units to 50. We could take a look at the stats here. The stats of the Soviet launcher are garbage when it comes to hit points and armor. But look at that range right there. 400 meters. And if we go over here to the, uh, the German Sturm Tiger tank, you can see 450 hit points, 450 armor, but the firing range is just vastly shorter, 70 meters. So the cost is very similar, 
but these are two completely different styles of vehicles. We have heavy armor, short range, versus literally no armor, super long range. Who's going to win on the battlefield? And today's battlefield will be Sandy Forest. We haven't done the Sandy Forest yet, so let's go ahead and check it out. I'm sure the noobs from Poland will be bringing us plenty of death and sadness on both sides. Are we surrounded by water, it almost looks like? I don't know. Now... The Katusha rockets can usually fire from an insane distance. And something just blew up. I, I don't even know what happened. So something is already blown up. And there we go. Hold on. Let's take a look at this. The rain of pain is incoming. And I think in this instance, I'm going to go ahead and guess. But I think that the, the superior range here may just outmatch the Sturm Tiger tanks. Now, these guys can take a licking, but can they take a rocket? Let's take, let's check this out. Yes, they can take several rockets. Look, a few of these guys are pushing straight on through, but there's so many rockets. Oh, this is insane. Hold on, I need to come down to this. Look at it. Just look at, I mean, it's hitting just various pieces of debris that's already blown up. You can see a couple of the rockets almost look like they're banking off of the ground. Very interesting. That, this is, this is completely ridiculous. I absolutely love it. Oh, look at it from here. Look at those rockets. There's no way. I don't think that there's any way that the Sturm Tiger tanks can possibly, like, handle this. Now these guys are going to have to reload. So, oh, wow. Oh, there's still, there's still probably half of the force left. And you can see right now they're starting to repair. So, nope, never mind. I was going to say, if they can get to the point where they can withstand the very first barrage, they may be able to repair up and push them back. Now, these, these tanks over here are starting to make their presence known. They are going to start coming up while all of the Soviet launchers need to reload. These guys don't. They just have to rely on their armor and their firepower up close. But already you can see rockets starting to fly again. I think what I might have to do is move them both up nose to nose and I and I know we would see a different story because this is decidedly one-sided right now and I really don't think. Now this guy over here may have a little bit of protection on the side of this hill, but not very much. You can see still rockets managing to arc downward. There's maybe 3 units left. And when they're all clustered up like this, it is the worst place for them to be. More rockets pouring down. Look at it. They can take five, six, seven, eight, nine rocket hits and still live. But there is just such a volume of rockets. Nothing can withstand that. There is no creature that can withstand this amount of pain. And look at the distance. This guy over here is running for his life. He's like, I don't want any part of this battle. Or he just never got moving. Oh, he is starting to move. I don't know if he's just late. Or the guy was sleeping or something? He didn't get the memo? Um, I'm not really sure exactly what happened. You can see desperately trying to replenish this tank over here. Let's take a look. How fast does it, how fast does it heal? I've never really looked. It doesn't look like it goes too fast. It got finally to the point where it can move again. But here, this, this could be it. This could be it. There comes the rockets. They are, that's it. Right there. Soviet victory, but let's move everything up real quick. All right, we got the exact amount spent. Everyone is pushed way up. We're going to fight on the Canyon Passage real quick and see what the hell happens over here. Oh, that's close. Oh, that's close. Oh, no. Hold on. I need to move down for this because I think both sides should be able to fire, right? There we go. There's the rockets. Oh, there's... Oh, wow, that is a canyon over there. Some of the rockets are down inside of the canyon. What in the world is going on? You can't even tell. Well, crap. Uh, I thought I had called it correctly, but I did not at all. I had no idea. Wow. Okay, um... I'm pretty sure that, uh, that the Soviet launchers may have this. Uh, in fact, I'm I'm very very certain that they have it now It's totally possible that maybe like a different amount or a different style of map would make the difference Different placements or just different support for different army styles But just in these very very minor tests we did holy crap and again, you know, they're just little fun tests I mean, I can't do everything perfectly. All right one of you guys wanted to see plenty of the bells 
and we will put plenty of the T42. So this is all special projects. 50 on each side on the snowy forest split. Who will come out on top? I gotta tell you, if those bells get into the middle of these tanks, it is going to be a sad, sad day. Oh, Lord. Oh, wow. The insanity has already begun, and the frame rate is just in shambles right now. I could slow things down. It gets a little bit smoother, but there is no doubt that when these bells get within range and they start firing those pulses off, they should be just leveling some of the competition. Right over here, they are pushing up. You can see the very first line. Oh, hold on. I got it in slow motion. It looks like a nuke going off. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Here it is, boys. Look at the, look at what happened. Look at what happened to the surrounding area. Are these tanks still alive? The tanks took it. I can't believe it. I don't know how. You can see they're about half health right now. Maybe a little bit less. Now, do the Germans, do these bells injure each other? It does not look like they do. So it looks like they only injure the other, the enemy. And that's really going to be useful for their side. Because these tanks over here are shooting the crap out of each other. I mean, literally just shooting the living hell out of one another. There's so much armor on both sides. I don't think anything's down yet. Oh, there we go. We are seeing the very first tanks. The very first 42s going down over here. And they are going down hard now that the bells are pushing up. Oh, my eyes. I hope you guys don't have epilepsy. This will be so terrible for you. But you wanted to see it. So here's what it looks like. Look at the insanity going on. Do any of these guys have a decent bead on their shots? This guy does right here. Now, let's see if he could fire. There's a lot of shrapnel in the way. That is a good shot right there. Look at that. Just in the very moment that it went off. Oh, and he got flattened. Totally got flattened. Over here, another tank goes down. The bells are just, just dealing so much damage with those area effect abilities. You can see the entire Soviet force is in shambles. The bells starting to push up because when they do their thing man it is a complete and utter devastation of everything on the board you can see right over here there's one tank left and he is flattened it is a total german victory there man the bells now i understand why they are the super secret weapon because holy crap they managed to get down 19 of them the t42s did but other than that it was uh pretty one-sided so very cool guys hope you're enjoying total tank simulator remember if you have any suggestions for future battles feel free to let me know in the comment section below i'll try and put up a pinned uh comment of mine that you can reply to if you want to suggest some battles and we'll try and get some in till the next time folks stay foxy and much love